Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am up. I'm in Los Angeles. If you missed yesterday's vlog, I came here for a YouTube workshop. This is not a sponsored trip. And I'm staying at the Holiday Inn by the airport, by LAX airport. I gotta say, this hotel is good. Um, I just came back from the gym. I got a little workout in this morning. There's also a complimentary breakfast that I peeped. Um, there's supposed to be breakfast at the workshop, so I got some fruit. I may go back down there and get some more coffee, but um, I'm dressed. I'm wearing this coolie bar black top. It's got the little holes for the fingers. I'm gonna put them on now because I'm gonna wash my face and that would be a mess. I'm just gonna wash my face with the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser I brought with me. Yeah, the gym downstairs has one treadmill, one elliptical, and one recumbent bike, and then it has some weights. There were people in there, like three people in there, so I didn't film because that would be rude. Yeah, so far so good with this hotel. If you have to come to Los Angeles for, you know, a quickie business trip or whatever, uh, you want to stay by the airport, 10 out of 10 recommend the Holiday Inn because it's super clean, free airport shuttle, free breakfast. Well, not free, I mean, you know, included, we should say, um, in your cost of attendance. Gym, pool, I haven't checked out the pool yet. Um, not the most happening area, but there is a 7-Eleven across the street. Ooh -ee. Um, I lost an eyelash. Make a wish. Gotta get the drips. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come in with same thing I did last night. If you missed yesterday's vlog, I brought this with me. It's not like my favorite product from them. I think it's a little like lacking in innovation because it's basically the same in my opinion as the CeraVe PM, which I love, but it's like, what is this really adding to their portfolio? It's slightly, ever so slightly like, I mean, you have to be really, really, really svelte to detect the differences in textures, but I'm just gonna, Put a little on. You know I'm gonna put it around my mouth because my lips are dry. All right, and now let's brush my hair. Last night I put some of this Orbe nourishing hair oil in. I love this stuff, but it's super expensive. I get the travel size, so I don't spend as much. People often ask about waiting times in between skincare products, and you really don't need to wait, except if you have a product on your face that's still damp and like your face is wet to the touch and you try and put sunscreen on over, it won't set up well, especially if it's water resistant, it'll pill. So in that case, just make sure that your face is dry, like, you know, what I just did there, brush my hair, like that serum is completely absorbed in and, and dry. So I brought this Pcom sun, sun cream. Let me get another sip of coffee, you guys. This is, they have hot water, you know, boiling hot water downstairs. They have coffee in one of those things, but I brought the Starbucks Via instant coffees. And so that's what this is. Those are pretty good. I, I travel with those because you can't trust people to provide proper coffee for you. It's just not, you know, you have to come prepared. So I always take those with me because they they get the job done. Um, you know, it's not the same as grinding my own beans at home and all that stuff we do together, but it gets the job done. Anyway, I shared this with you guys in a favorites video recently. This is the Pecom Water Barrier Sun Cream. I purchased this on Amazon. Um, because Amazon told me to, you know, like sometimes you open Amazon, it's like, you should try this. And you're like, okay, add to cart. I mean, that, that shopping site really gets you. Um, and I love this. If you like the, um, 
it's like super lightweight if you like korean sunscreens i think you will like this i mean it's just like a drink of water not greasy it kind of reminds me a little bit of the um brown labs birch i forget what that one's called that one's really good too but yeah this is really easy around the eyes like i don't have any problem with it in that regard here's the view i'm on the sixth floor <laughs> it's so gorgeous we have a smoggy view of mickey d's mcdonalds mcdonalds over here this is a little seating area um let's open the blinds up then down there you have 7-eleven and sizzler i think that's a california thing we don't have those in texas um and it looks like we've got a Persian restaurant over there. I don't know why I keep tormenting you guys by accidentally zooming in on my face with this lens. It's like, anyway, <clears throat> whew, got a little frog in my throat. This is what that sunscreen looks like, fully set up, dry, not like zero cast. It's really moisturizing, not greasy. All right, I am ready to head out. Hope that this is the attire that is expected. I have no idea. They didn't really give a what to wear. Yeah, Uber came quickly. <laughs> so I'm on my way. Hopefully I don't dial you in too fast. Uh, yeah, that's always frustrating when the app doesn't open. You have to wait for it to re-download. Thanks for a little bit. Hopefully I'm not there. Hopefully I don't arrive too early. It's always kind of hard to gauge like when to leave for something when you're not familiar with traffic patterns. But I hate being like the first one to something and then just like kind of standing there like awkwardly. All right, let's check in. All right, check out the room. This is a Howard Hughes hangar loft for Howard Hughes airplane. I guess, but it's now a Google headquarters. Fenty skin here, and I have tried and reviewed for you guys the Melt Off. It wasn't too bad. It's a um, makeup remover, but the packaging is super annoying. Like it's like a little syringe pump, but when you get to where you've used like slightly more than two thirds of the product, it becomes very difficult to get out. I'm not familiar with what's in the blemish repair. I also tried their eye cream that came in packaging like that, and it was so-so. Looks like they have a variety of lip glosses though, and you know me, always wanted to try lip glosses. What is this? Cookies and Clean, a whipped clay detox face mask. You know, clay can help absorb sebum from the skin surface, but um, and I'm sure it's fun that it's cookies and cream scented. All right. All right, I got myself a vegan breakfast burrito. This has the just egg and refried beans and then coconut yogurt with fruit and chia seeds. All right, here's where the keynote is gonna be. We are going to lunch now. All 
right, lunch is over, and now we are waiting to go into a workshop, but <clears throat> this is the Ulta little booth. The shadow palette, some glittery shades. You know, bling bling. Okay, back for part two. <laughs> but at the Ulta booth, they were giving away these little stones. Half Magic. I guess the brand is started by the makeup artist from Euphoria. <laughs> so maybe those will be fun to play around with for the holidays. Here we are at the workshop. They have drinks and a berry bowl. I'm gonna get some water. I'm super thirsty. I love this tangerine rosemary spa water they have. It's really you wouldn't think putting rosemary and tangerine in water would be that refreshing, but it's good. I'm starting to lose my voice from talking too much. Well guys, I am back. I had a great time at the YouTube workshop and they gifted everyone this beach waiver. I think for fun, I'm gonna try it out. I have seen people on TikTok using this um, and I don't know, I just kind of scroll right past, but they gave us the, this, so let's give it a try and see what it's all about. This is my hair without using it. <laughs> like when I told you guys recently that, look at my hair, you guys. Recently I told you all that my hair had changed texture and this is the hair non beach combed. <laughs> like what even is this? I don't even know. So let's try the beach comber and see what it does. I feel like the lip, the gripper is not big enough. Oh, there we go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ooh, that's pretty good. Check that out. All right. Now let's get this little piece over here. This is my biggest thing with this is like this little thing is not it doesn't hold much hair. Maybe if I don't go down if I just do if I just grab like the tip here. I feel like you kind of have to leave a little piece out like this. There we go. Yeah, so you kind of have to leave that little straight edge there. My hair smells good though from that Dove shampoo and if you missed yesterday's vlog, the shampoo here is Dove, is Dove shampoo and conditioner. It smells pretty good. So the arrows let you go in either direction. I think it looks pretty good. It helps that the AC is kind of blowing the curls in the wind. Not too bad. Well, hey guys, it's the next morning. So update on the beach comber, beach waver, whatever it's called. Um, you know, I think with more practice, I'll get a little bit better at it. Uh, the curl held up. Last night, I just ended up getting work done on my computer for a couple of hours. I have been up for a while now. I went downstairs and went to the gym, got a workout in. I'm going to finish getting ready and then I'm going to go downstairs and get breakfast, which is included at the Holiday Inn. All right, we have oatmeal with walnuts, cinnamon, and... 
Red Berry Special K sprinkled on there. Coffee, which is my Starbucks via, but they also have coffee and a piece of fruit. But yeah, they even have a pancake maker. You can make pancakes if you wanted to. All right, I am just waiting for the shuttle to come and take me to the airport. But they have a nice little seating area here. I gotta say, this hotel keeps getting better and better. All right, we made it to the airport here in the gift shop. We have these look comfortable. I like that one. Very beachy. And for Disneyland. Check out these cute water bottles. They're collapsible. That's kind of neat. I like the California Dreamin' Tumblr. They have a Kiehl's here. I wonder what it is that has allowed Kiehl's to be an airport shop. Or why they would even, I mean, I guess it makes sense that they would want to be in an airport because people forget their toiletries and are trapped in here and you know, want to shop. But anyway, I've always thought their products were overhyped. Uh, a lot of them have fragrance, not all of them though. I mean, some of them are okay. I like the gift packaging. safely in one piece had a fantastic flight as you can hear in the background my dryer is going because I just washed all of my clothes which I always do the minute I get home from a trip I wash everything including the stuff I didn't wear I watched are you there God it's me Margaret that book I read that when I was in like elementary school on the cusp of elementary school and we call it junior high um, yeah the movie it was cute it, it, it was it was enjoyable to watch I watched that and then I started watching my favorite movie that they always have on Southwest Flights, A Star is Born with Bradley Cooper. I adore that movie. Like I can watch that over and over again. Let me know if you like that movie. I like it because Bradley Cooper, you know, he's kind of easy on the eyes if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, the Dove shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion were all really good. Dove needs to redo their um, their brand messaging. Like they, they try and be, you know, claim that they're hypoallergenic and sensitive skin friendly, but really what, what they're best at, in my opinion, is not sensitive skin friendliness, but rather formulating sophisticated scents in their products, which is ironic because fragrance is, you know, a common allergen and can be irritating. But the scents that they come out with, in my opinion, are always really nice and kind of set them apart from other drugstore body wash brands. I just really like the scents. And I love the scent, the way they're antiperspirant smell. Um, and they're also really good with hair care. Um, you know, but their whole, whole shtick is, you know, one quart of moisturizing cream, sensitive skin. But I honestly don't think they're the body washes are that great for eczema. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you guys had fun watching this video. Thank you for making it to the end. I hope you are doing fantastic. 
And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.